Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and today we're gonna to teach you how to mic your snare drum. A lot of you have been asking how we get such amazing <laughs> snare drum sounds on the drumlessons.com videos. So what I've done is I've brought out Victor Godera from behind the board, and we're gonna put him in front of the camera, and he's gonna teach you guys exactly what he does to get amazing snare drum sounds. So, take it away, Victor. Right, so our first thing would be mic choice. What are we gonna use for the snare drum? There are all kinds of microphones, all types and styles and prices. Uh, probably the most universal snare drum microphone and has been the industry standard for years, the Shure SM57. Cannot go wrong with a 57 on a snare drum. And that's very, very affordable as well. They're under $100 most of the time. 100 brand right? new and under if you look for it hard enough. Yeah, you can probably find it for 50 bucks on Craigslist or right. eBay or any of those kind of places. Right. So definitely check that out. Okay, so what's the next step? Now that we have our snare drum here, I've got my Evans heads on it. Um, obviously, the drum is gonna is a really really good starting point if you have a nice sounding drum. Um, then tuning, then tuning, tuning very well. is is gonna be the next step, and then miking techniques. So exactly what do you do? Uh, where do you place the mic on the batter side of the drum? Right. So let's just jump right in. Let's yeah. grab the mic off the side here, and we'll put it in. Okay. So I'm coming in from this angle because it's. There's the most space for me to get the actual microphone in the kit. And I'm not gonna come from the other side of the snare drum and point it into the snare drum. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll mention that in a bit. So I'm just gonna place it in. Okay, so now that I got the microphone in there, I'm just gonna make some fine tune adjustments and I'm also gonna have to maneuver it around so that Jared can actually play and not hit the microphone when he moves to the other toms. Um, and same with you if you're recording yourself or another drummer. Okay, so first off, I'm not gonna bring the snare mic, there's tons of room back here to actually position the microphone and get it where I want it. I'm not gonna do that though because we wanna be aware of something called bleed or mic leakage. So if I point the snare drum mic from this angle, what's gonna happen is the bass drum is directly behind the snare. So this mic will actually pick up a lot of bass drum sound, as well as toms, because the toms are in that direction as well. So what we kind of generally wanna do with a microphone um, on each shell of the kit is we wanna kind of point it backwards as much as we can away from the other pieces of the kit, away from the cymbals, away from the shells, bass drum. And so we come in we, I can't come in from this angle. It's, it'll be in the way of uh, playing between the toms because that would be straight back. Then if you think of what's behind here, there's nothing behind here. So the closest I can do, the best thing that I can do is come from the angle that we're at and point it as, as much away from the kit while still trying to maintain pointing it directly at the snare drum. So when we're making drums, there aren't too many uh, rules per se, but the, I'd like to follow some guidelines and, and help you understand some of those. So what I start with is a good kind of rule of thumb is grabbing three fingers and making the snare drum mic about the height of, of your three fingers or four fingers or so. We just wanna be about two, two and a half, three inches above the snare drum. And also we don't wanna have the mic in the way of playing the toms. So we gotta keep that in mind at every step of the way here. So what I wanna do is I, ideally, I'd like to have the snare drum mic directly above the drum and grabbing as much of the well-rounded sound of the drum as possible but that doesn't work. So I'm gonna get as close as I can off the edge, out of the way of the rest of the toms, hi-hat, and I'm gonna angle it in at a, approximately a 45 degree angle. And for me, personal preference and for what we do here, mm -hmm. I like to point it more towards the center of the snare drum. If you point it towards the edge, it'll sound a little bit thinner, which is okay. And if you have a, a certain genre application that you want it to sound thinner, go for it. So I'm just gonna position it about a 45, close to the edge of the snare drum, pointed at the center of the snare drum. And that's about it. And then from there, I would get Jared to start playing and see if it's in the way at all. And we may have to adjust the microphone. If anything, it looks like it may have to go down a little bit. Because mm -hmm. this, it looks when we plugged it in, the yep. back of the mic cable is gonna hit here, unless you have a, a, one of those mic cables that's a 90 a right, Exactly, right angle yeah. cable. So I think it's also important to mention that 
you know, these are the techniques that, that we use to get the sounds Absolutely. that work best for us, you know, in our room, on mm -hmm. our drum sets, um, in our studio. And so, you know, if you go somewhere else, sound engineers might do something completely different, and that's Absolutely. fine. You know, we're not saying this is the only way or this is the way you have to do it, otherwise your snare is going to sound bad. Right. Um, people experiment and try different things and get some amazing sounds mm -hmm. um, using their own techniques. But this and that's, is what we And that's kind of where I've, I've come along in my training and my experiences with uh, recording multiple different drum sets and different amounts of shells in those drum sets. Mm -hmm and you know, different sizes, depths, all that kind of stuff, and working with other engineers and drummers. And I've, these are kind of my techniques, just fine tuned that work with us the best, so. Cool, so what do you do for the bottom of the snare drum? Now I know not everyone mics the bottom, but right. we do, we, mm -hmm. we top and bottom mic um, everything mm -hmm. uh, on, as far as the toms and the snare drum mm -hmm. goes. So can you tell us what you do on the bottom? Well, what we're trying to do with uh, um, when uh, us or other people mic the bottom of the snare drum is we're trying to get a little bit of a brighter sound and we're trying to get the snare wires in there. And when we actually uh, mix in the two microphones, the top mic and the bottom mic, we'll have a little bit less of the bottom mic just because mm -hmm. it's thin, but it, it sounds like you get mostly the snare wires in it. So I'm just gonna grab the bottom snare mic and we'll put it in. Now, if you recall, ideally on the top mic, I would have liked to have it directly at the top in the center of the drum, but the playing and everything would get in the way. His sticks, his arms. So with the bottom mic, I can get it right where I want it. I'm gonna put it right in the center of the drum and I'm gonna point it just at the snare wires and I'm gonna keep that approximate three finger rule or so, about two, three inches. As simple as that. So you notice that the bottom microphone is also a Shure SM57. Um, it's, it's a good rule of thumb, and again, not a rule, but a good kind of a guideline to use a matched pair of microphones. And the 57, uh, again, has been the standard for the bottom of the snare drum as well for many years. So you guys, that's how we get our snare drum sounds on all of our videos. Like I said before, there's many, many different techniques. Uh, this is what we use. I hope it's going to help you when making up your drums, whether it's in the studio, whether it's for live, or whatever you're doing. Um, in future videos, we're going to talk more about what we do to EQ the drum and stuff like that. So please stay subscribed and we'll get to those videos later on. But thanks so much, Victor, yeah. for coming out and sharing your knowledge. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take your shoes off. You're going to make less noise. Yeah. And today, I'm going to teach you... Oh, I'm going to try it. Uh, Mike's all my drums and sets it up. So I'm going to... Oh, let me try it again. A lot of you guys have been asking, um, ah. Rules when you're micing uh, these drums. Okay, so now that I got the microphone, so if I point the snare drum mic from this angle, 